Hi and welcome to Real Reviews. My name is Martin Carr and today we're going to be talking about Top Gun Maverick, which not only made over a billion dollars at the global box office, but will soon appear on Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD and every streaming service under the sun. Let's get into it. So in his ongoing effort to single-handedly save cinema, Tom Cruise gives us Top Gun Maverick 36 years after the original film, meaning he comes back as Pete Maverick Mitchell. Uh, he is a test pilot trying to break the sound barrier in the first five minutes, and he is pulled off that assignment um, and saved from ignominity to train some more pilots on a suicide mission of some description. Uh, the film is directed by Joseph Krasinski, who directed him in Oblivion. Uh, it is co-written by Christopher McQuarrie alongside two other writers. Uh, it stars Miles Teller, who was in Whiplash, and people may remember from the ill-fated Fantastic Four film directed by Josh Trank. Um, I guess the question is, is it any good? Uh, I mean, with a billion dollars at the box office, you'd imagine so, but let's find out, shall we? By any means of any critical measure, Top Gun Maverick is an excellent film. It's entertaining, uh, it fulfills every blockbuster quota, it's got pathos, it's got emotion, there's complex moments in there. Tom Cruise gives a performance which uh, is probably he hasn't bettered since he did Magnolia, uh, for which he got Oscar nominated, which he won't get Oscar nominated for this. Uh, Ed Harris is in there for probably 10 minutes, but does an excellent job. John Hamm is also very good as the sceptical yet supportive senior officer who um, is there hounding Maverick throughout. Miles Teller uh, is also very good um, as the, the son of Goose, Anthony Edwards, who unfortunately passed away in the first film. Jennifer Connelly does the best she can with an extremely underwritten role and uh, whether or not she's even a love interest is up for debate in this film. Ultimately, it comes down to F-16 cameras and lots of aerial combat. Um, and it works. And there's no lightning in a bottle thing that you can say that's why it works. But when you watch it, it just keeps getting better. Even in the finales, which when these things tend to feel a little bit overstuffed, I, I can't fault it. There's nothing you can say that's going to tell me this is a bad film. It's excellent, you should go and see it. That's it. So, that was Top Gun Maverick. It's an excellent film. I've got nothing else to say. This has been Real Reviews. My name's Martin Carr. If you've liked the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Make me a happy man. Until we talk again, take care. Cheers.